do, 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 do. We're going live. We're going live. We're going live today. We're going live today. I'm trying to come up with a jingle because a jingle would be really cool. Natalie, I will put you in. Ah, Linda and Natalie, welcome to the show. It's a show that I'm trying to create a jingle for, but I'm not that good at singing. Hello, Dad. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. I'm just so pleased to be here today to celebrate Spliced Connectors Summer Exhibition Under the Skin by Shim Art Network with some other amazing artists who are joining me as we speak. Uh, thank you so much. The piece behind me just got, hi, F's up. It's so nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you for joining us, Larry. Nice to see you. Uh, very nice to see you, Zop family members. Uh, just got a compliment on the piece behind me right now, which is uh, my twisted that I've been working on since the 4th of July. It's coming along. I think from this angle, it kind of reminds me a lot of Hillary Clinton's profile, but you know, I could be seeing things. Anyway, we're not here to discuss that. We are here to celebrate, cheers, the amazing exhibition on artsy.net of uh, Under the Skin by Sliced uh, excuse me, by Sliced Connector. I'm just giving people one more moment to join us. Lauren, it's a pleasure to have you. I'm so glad that you could join us. I uh, can't wait to discuss your artwork with all of you. Um, uh, a quick bit about Spliced Connector for those who may be wondering what I am saying. Uh, Splice Connector is an art artist collective based on the idea that multi-generational diversity will make for uh, more enriched creativity and expression for everyone. And our fearless leader, Karen Fitzgerald, has done a wonderful job of um, building a cohort of, of people originally many associated with Long Island University and several other connectors have now joined us and we believe in community we believe in collaboration it's so nice to see you too Lauren we believe in sharing information and opportunities and knowledge and that and resources and that is one of the reasons that we are doing this here today we are working on sharing and celebrating our collaboration. Um, and it's, it's such a cool group of all different artists that have joined um, that are part of the show. And the show, Under the Skin, again, crazy loaded title, but amazing things in between. Karen wrote some uh, a beautiful press release about the show, which I am going to read part of to you. Um, now, you can get to the show, the the link to see the show, it's on artsy.net if you just look up the summer um, summer exhibition under the skin from artsy.net. You can, I just want to make sure that that's muted. There we go. And this is just uh, zooming a quick, a quick little sneak peek for all of you of what the show is looks like and we're going to talk further about our pieces those of us that are on here whose work we're seeing right now for example lauren's going right up the middle linda on the right side and dudley also on the right sorry linda and dudley that i'm going to be on top of your work my work's on the left right now uh this will loop so don't worry if you miss the beginning of this it's about to play again and uh I'm going to read a little bit about the show to you as an introduction to what we're doing here. Um, under the skin, interior characteristics often differ from surface qualities. 
a young queen might be sassy and defiant, and yet under the skin of those choices, she can possess a very sweet nature. And artwork is the same way. Visceral visual qualities of language can be as opaque as the challenges we experience when we try to read the people around us, and it all takes time. And uh, it continues, there's, there's so much about um, under the skin that, that relates to these artworks. Is this not looping? I thought it might loop. Let's see what happens if we can make it play again. Oh, that's interesting. I pressed the wrong button there. Everyone got to see my computer. There we go. Okay. We all have skin in the game. The skin of artwork has an important role to play. The skin is just the beginning of a complex body. Its surface sensuality serves to entice us inside, inside our own thinking, imagining, and understanding of this to that, of inner to outer. Under the skin is where the real action happens. So the piece that I have in this wonderful show, which again is on artsy.net and uh, Spice Connector, so you can you can uh, learn all about different Spice Connector initiatives. Hi, Karen. We just finished quoting you. It's so nice to see you. You can learn all about these Spice Connector initiatives that we have and other happenings that will be going on by following the link in my bio or any of the wonderful bios of the amazing artists that will also be speaking today. Uh, we have a mailing list that we're setting up that's going to be there just to keep you on the inside of this awesome bit of information that we've got and an awesome group of artists that we're sharing the work together so uh check that out uh the the piece that i have in the show under the skin is called shooting rainbows and it is a 16 by 19 drawing that is now pictured on your screen i hope um it should be pictured on your screen. And it is in a frame. And it in this direction actually would be a 19 by 16 drawing. The piece actually looks totally different when you look at it at different orientations. Hi, Gary, thank you so much for joining us. I'm just talking about my piece in the show Under the Skin on Splice, Connect, uh, Splice Connectors Summer Art Show. And I also just hit a button on my computer accidentally. Um, every time you look at my artwork from a different angle, you're gonna see these shooting rainbows. They definitely have a different look about them. But as far as under the skin is concerned, if you ha have been paying any attention or happen to have looked through my work, I have these micro cities that I've noticed that uh, originally I found and was repeating in my artwork based off of coral reefs. Uh, and the micro cities are like these little worlds within worlds within worlds. Like if you zoom in super close on something and you're looking at it. And right now, my micro cities are most this this piece right here for shooting rainbows um, from 2018. This piece was inspired by the ocean and by um, coral, but it relates under the skin because if you look at um, several parts of the drawing, you can see it's like the, the two parts that I have highlighted at the bottom of the screen, which hopefully you can see, um, the rainbows are clearly coming out from underneath something else. Um, or on the right hand side of the drawing where the circles are um, filled in in some areas, there's lots of tight, tiny circles and that looks almost woven underneath other areas. Um, it's that idea that there's so many different layers and my work both in drawing and in plastic, it's all about these endless layers that end up building up these micro cities and, and our skin is this huge, awesome layer as well. Um, and what's under the skin I think doesn't always look the same once it comes out as it does when it's under the skin and I don't think it always looks as we might expect it to so it's pretty um, it's it's pretty amazing uh, also amazing is the artwork 
of, you know, I think we had an order in which I was planning on doing this, but I don't recall what that order was. And that is, that's my bad, my apologies. But I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna actually start right now by sharing the artwork of, and, and sharing and inviting um, Natalie Woodson, who is another artist on Splice Kit, join us here moment. And when Natalie gets here, I will also put up her artwork instead of mine. There she is. Hey! Whoa, Natalie's loud in my ears. Oh, sorry. Natalie, no, that's not your fault. That's the headphones. Here is the piece that Natalie has in the current Splice Connector show. Natalie, yeah. tell us about your artwork, please. Excellent. All right. So, uh, hi, everybody. My name is Natalie Woodson. And yes, I have a thing for puns, and yes, I do wood burning, and I don't think it's an accident entirely. <laughs> uh, so what I've been doing is focusing on. Wait, wait, wait! I'm sorry, Natalie. Uh, yes. Can I, I'm sorry for interrupting you, but that was a huge sorry. point you just made that I totally missed before. Like, <laughs> um, Natalie Woodson does wood burning. Yes. That is <laughs> awesome. Okay. Again, like I, I have a thing for puns and it's just like, it's just too good. It gets even deeper. Like, okay, you want to get a little further? This series actually started at the Museum of Natural History. And I've been told I have that Theodore Roosevelt smile with a lack of lip and it's just like ongoing. So part of my, uh, part of my mission as well is to bring awareness of our dying wildlife that are fossils before our very eyes. And the thing I loved about the Museum of Natural History is it's full of bones and you can just only imagine what these dinosaurs once looked like. And we have dinosaurs walking amongst us because they're going extinct by our very eyes. And pretty soon in our future, we're just gonna have their skulls left behind. And I wanna be able to depict the souls and the strength of the actual animals that are there because we don't know what a T-Rex really looked like. In my mind, what if he had like ridiculously large floppy lips and ears and like things that can't be saved in like fossil records. So like the imagination is endless. <laughs> so I wanna capture uh, our wildlife in the way that I see them and they wanna depict them. And at the same time, wanna reclaim the fear that's usually associated with skulls and celebrate them because they're one of the first things that are developed in our womb from the inside and they protect our souls, they protect our brain. And this is the thing that is the most wonderful thing that we have and it's connected in so many ways. So I want to reclaim we celebrate and we honor what we have now. And I feel like that's just as best as I could put it to words. And when I do my wood burning, it smells wonderful. I honestly, I lose myself in the most wonderful ways, the detail, like within the feathers or the fur that I, I constantly do. I let all my worries go away in there and become more present because all the past stops talking the words of the future aren't there because it's just the time that we have now and you have to take time when you do wood burning or else you'll get burned and at the same time we are leaving a permanent mark on a piece of the earth so time matters so time matters yeah and that's the most matters. important that's, element it, yeah man that, well done time, and time matters especially when you're talking about the surface of your of your artwork Absolutely. Not I can't just, force not it. Not just visually, but also the technique itself. Yeah. Oh. If you force it, then you're going to ruin it and it cuts quickly. And knowing how to like take a flame and have a controlled flame, because again, I get, I get the symbol symbolical, like my initials are NAW, Natalie Ann Woodson, North American wildlife, NAW. Okay. I like that too. <laughs> so if I'm going to really put myself in my art, I'm going to do it. And also Sagittarius is a fire sign. Like, okay, well, I got all the elements necessary. <laughs> I mean, well done. That's it's quite interconnected. And you do, you do all kinds of different animals in your wood now. Oh, definitely. Cool. Wow. And the title of this piece, Natalie? Uh, this is Skulls and Souls, uh, Bald Eagle. So all the pieces, it's a long ongoing series. The title always starts with Skulls and Souls, okay. followed by the uh, the, the animal, animal that I'm, yeah, encapsulating, so. Super cool, beautiful work. Now, and Natalie, how big is this piece? This piece is 16 by 20. 16 by 20, super. Nice work, Natalie. Yeah, thank you. Um, and it was completed on uh, January of 2019. Wow, that's, 
that that feels like a whole coronavirus year ago. <laughs> Right, I mean, that's a long time ago, right now. Basically. Pre plague, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pre plague, exactly. Wow, that's great. All right, Natalie, thank you so much for sharing that with Excellent. us. Excellent, thanks Andrew, for sharing. Your, your studio looks wonderful behind you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so does your hat. I'm digging. I'm digging thank the you. whole thing. Great thank to you. see you, Natalie. Um, and same. you can sign. You can all sign up by following the link in my bio. Is it in your bio, Natalie? It's in my bio as well. There's absolutely. a link in Natalie's bio as well, y'all. So you can sign up to join our mailing list. We'd love to keep you up to date as to what's happening here, Natalie. I am going to say ta-ta for now, but please stay on with us and um, right. feel free to add some questions. And if you want to come back, just knock. Sure. You're Just well, say aloha. Right. That's hello and goodbye. And I love you. So aloha. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> aloha. Shalom, if you will. Aha. Uh -huh. Shalom. <laughs> All right, Natalie. Thank you so much for sharing. I am next heading to the next artist that uh, would love to share the artwork of Dudley. Dud Dudley, are you? Oh, sorry, Lauren. I didn't realize Lauren had had uh, requested Lauren. I I'm gonna go to you after Dudley, and then we'll finish up with with some Linda. Sorry for changing the order. Dudley, hi. It's so nice of you. Thank you for joining us, Dudley. Welcome. Tell us about your artwork, please. Thank you, Rachel. And hi, everybody. I'm here in Lincolnville, Maine, in my studio. Um, I, in addition to painting, I'm a restorer of habitat. And so my paintings are all coming from and about the natural world. This painting is called Blue Shadbush. And the shadbush is a small tree that grows along the roadsides and in the woods here. It blooms in May, and it's a welcome sight after mud season. After mud. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's filled with white blossoms kind of a celebration and it lights up the woods. Um, those blossoms, and, and you can see them in the painting here, are very fragile. They only last for about a week. Um, they're oh. delicate and, and they remind me so much of skin. So, so the skin of the shadbush being so ephemeral and the shadbush disappearing back into the woods after the display is over makes me want to do paintings that make the experience more permanent. Ah, oh, how great. Blue Shed Bush is oil on linen. It is 12 by 9 inches, and it's available oh. on the exhibition on Artsy. So it's a, it's a small, a small painting. I was, I mean, I, I should have looked because I was imagining this piece of artwork enormous like i i think i was picturing it when i saw the photograph of it as like uh four feet by five feet something much larger than what you're saying so now that you've changed the scale the whole my brain just exploded a little bit that's would um fun to do it that way to see it that way. i mean i it would be so interesting to try to create those same um delicate flowers that you've created so small Mm -hmm. have them be so delicate and yet so large yet yeah. still like have that thin skin that you're referring to at a large scale wow i believe mean, that is beautiful and dudley um thank you so much for for joining us here dudley do you have the link in your bio today Ooh, i do so, so go there click on click on the link join our mailing list join it's our such mailing great list such a great um, place to connect with such a great group to be part of. And we want to let everybody know about what we're doing. Yeah, because we're doing cool stuff. <laughs> I mean, example right here, beautiful, beautiful. And I actually, I wanted to ask, I mean, I just, I'm, thrown, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away by the size that I didn't realize it was and that it is. Um, and it's become like even more delicate right now. I'm curious, is it titled Blue Shad Bush because of the blue that you have in the background of your painting, or is the bush called a blue shad bush? So the blue is is because of the painting, the blue background in the painting. And the background comes because not much is leafed out here in May in 
in the woods. So you can see the sky quite clearly and main skies in May are that blue. So that's, you know, it's a little bit of shadbush branches, a little bit of the blossoms and a lot of the blue sky. Beautiful. And it's done with, with acrylic paint? No, it's oil paint, oil on linen. Oil paint. I'm sorry, you said that oil on linen, you said that beautiful. Yep. Nice okay. work, Dudley. Translucency of oil paint. The what of oil paint? The translucency so that you get those those layers, those skins of paint. The layers, the skins, yep. I've never worked with oil paint, but I think I would enjoy it too, especially if you're telling me that you can get build up to like layers of transparency. Yeah. It smells Beautiful good. work. It smells good too? Okay. Uh, feel free to comment, everyone watching. As far as I know, I haven't heard, Dudley, that oil paint and working with it smells good. But no. I, 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 I mean, are you one of the people who like to smell gasoline too? Uh, I don't hate it, but oil paint doesn't smell like gasoline. It smells like. Oh, that's good. It smells like sand oil, which is the medium I use. Sand oil, wow. Well, Karen seems to agree with you. Clearly, those <laughs> emojis mean fire <laughs> and fairies. Well done, and good luck. Um, this one I always thought meant like, woo, but I think it might have another meaning. Do you know? What's that? Is this like jazz hands, like yay, or does it mean something else? No, it just means hi, everybody. This has been hi. Uh, okay. Rachel, well done. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Dudley, for joining us and for bringing. Thanks, Rachel. Uh, oh, you have family members who love the smell of gasoline, apparently. So, well um, done. It's in the family. Ooh. But sandalwood oil, good to know. Sandal, yeah. Yep. Sandal, sandal oil, not sandalwood sand, oil. Sandal oil. Sand, sand. Like sand oil. Got it. It's a lens oil. oil. Yeah is a linseed oil. Thank you for educating. I appreciate it. See, and that's what Spice Connector is all about, everyone. Thank you, Dudley. I'm going to invite Lauren to join us now. Lauren, Lauren, here she comes, here she comes. And when she comes, we will say goodbye to the blue shad bush. It's so nice to see you, Lauren. And here is your beautiful piece of artwork that is in Under the Skin by Splice Connector on Artsy. Yes. Welcome, Lauren Borgo. 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 Like Borgo. Yeah, the silent T. Yeah, you, you told me that before and I forgot. Sorry. But Lauren, welcome. And please tell us about this piece of artwork. What's the title? What's it called? And definitely how big is it? Because I clearly have been have the perception situation happening here yes um so th the name of this piece is it's called flow it is 16 by 16 inches and it is a printed uh photograph on a white wood panel and that is a very interesting thing that you brought up that um viewing this on our phones or on our computers we're never quite sure the size so um 16 by 16 inches and this is from um from a series called uh quotidian radiance um and this series is really about how um our daily routines make up most of our lives it's not these uh these big dramatic you know happenings and how it's it's really important to to find the the beauty in these like little uh moments right uh that's such a good call our lives are, are what we do it's what we make of it right yes yes and um and it's like so important for for me i'm a i'm a very spiritual person um i took this photograph um i say prayers every morning to start my day and um and i would find these like little beautiful moments uh while you know art created during prayer um i'm a conceptual artist and um a lot of my work uh is you know so much more than physically what you uh what is in front of you so there's a lot under the skin 
Exactly, exactly. Whoa, that's awesome. So, Lauren, can you tell us if there, um, do, you, do you recall a specific, is there a specific prayer that this one is related to or, or not necessarily? Um, so actually for this series, um, I took over like 250 photographs. Um, so this particular prayer, I don't recall the exact one, but, um, but just, you know, being, so I, I, I titled this flow cause it just, you know, being in the, the flow of, of life and just, uh, being in the, the the present moment, you know, not thinking about the past, not thinking about tomorrow, just like presently enjoying what you have in front of you. Um, awesome. so flow, just like flowing in, you know, the the sea of life. Um, that's why I titled this piece. Wow, I I'm, I it it looks like it's a micro city to me. That's what I I mean. That it looks like what I see when I look at a tree tree trunks like uh was there is is it an abstract image or and i'm not seeing is there something not like con what were you photographing <laughs> <laughs> so that's the question that i always get um so i think that when i talk about like what it actually is versus what it represents sort of takes away from the meaning and don't is. yeah no 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 i don't i don't want you to i like that you're showing us the way you're seeing it and it doesn't matter where where you got it from that it's what you're, that's not what the point is uh it's like a nice little secret that you get to keep i think it's absolutely stunning photo that's definitely definitely representing what you what you've meant what you've mentioned and it feels cleansing to me thank you um, i really it's a beautiful piece lauren and um and to join our mailing list to see more work by me and other people. Um, it is on my Instagram and I would love to, um, to show anyone who's interested in more of my work. You can follow me at uh, Lauren Borgay underscore and the link is in my, my bio. Awesome, Lauren. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, totally appreciate that. Lauren, why don't you give us, uh, I, I realized if you, if you do, um, so when you're looking at this, you couldn't see the names of the people who joined us. And I apologize for that. But if, if you, if you start looking, if you scroll through, you can join the rest of us. I mean, you can see their, their handles so that you can follow the other artists on here. Now we are going to invite Linda Tharp. Linda. And Linda's beautiful piece of artwork from Under the Skin. Linda, let's, uh, cannot wait to hear from you about your artwork. And as a reminder, check out our show. Hi, Linda, welcome. Hey, Rachel. Thank you for um, joining us. Thank you, thank you for, for being on the other end. Um, and I am also going to, uh, I haven't worked in oil paint for a while, but I'm going to stick up for the fact that it smells great. Awesome. Um, that's, that's several for oil paint right there. Good to know. Yes. Yeah. Linseed oil and the aromatic balsam smell of turpentine is, is wonderful. Wow. I recommend it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to go through my nose in it. All right. Good. Totally. Thank you. <laughs> Um, the show Under the Skin includes, um, one of my Sumi ink and watercolor paintings called Pathway. Um, these paintings use elements of a Japanese paper marbling technique called Sumi Nagashi or floating ink that dates to the 12th century. Um, in that technique, Ink is floated on water and paper is laid on the surface to pull off an image. Um, in my painting, I draw with water and float ink and color into it. And I rely on the surface tension in the water to carry the color around and then let it dry. Um, which I do think the idea of surface tension does relate to the theme of the show. It being a, a surface that is a skin that is both very strong and very fragile. 
at the yeah. same time. Um, and instead of pulling the image off the surface, as in the Japanese technique, I let it dry on the surface of the paper. Oh. Um, and the, res the results of that can be quite unpredictable. Um, so I don't know until the next day whether I've got a painting or a piece of scrap paper. Um, and I find this relates in interesting ways to, to other pieces in the show Under the Skin, um, including yours. Um, and I encourage everybody to visit artsy.net to see the show. And in my uh, profile under Tharp Studio, you will find a link to join the mailing list yeah. and learn more about Splice Connector and our curator, Karen Fitzgerald, who did a fabulous job with the show. Really, I, I agree. So the, the pieces, if you don't mind my asking, uh, Linda, the pieces that uh, the next day you decide this isn't quite right, do you know right away? Or are there some pieces that I notice you have some up behind you that you have to, yeah. that you take in, you look at them um, and take oh, them I, in before you know for sure? Sometimes I know right away and it others it can take years. <laughs> Yeah, and um, so you're not throw, you're not tossing things necessarily. I, I feel like a slag heap. Uh, they go they go in that pile, and sometimes they get pulled back off that pile. Um, and it, actually, it applies more to works on panel that are more involved. But um, there are ones that I think are finished for a couple of years, even, and then that you know ultimately have to admit that they're not and keep going. So it is an improvisational process. So and where. Make a lot of allowances for accident. Beautiful oops, if you will. Yeah, a beautiful. Um, yeah. Allowance for accident also sounds like a very um, calming and peaceful and meditative way just to go through life. I mean, you're showing a flexibility that 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 is helpful. I think in a lot of our mindsets, if we if we do allow for accidents a little bit more freely. Yeah, there is. There is a state of mind of letting go of control, um, and, or but maintaining a balance between that and and your own decision making. Yes, and that Which balance is, is the control. It's a tenuous one. Yes, yes, that is a yes. that's one that I also play with a lot with my artwork. That struggle for control, and I, I yeah. both in life and in art, I, it's big. Well, your work is beautiful. I'm. Um, how big is this piece that, uh, pathways that we're looking it's, at here? It's 12 by 16 inches. Um, and it's on paper. It's Sumi ink and watercolor. Beautiful. Beautiful work. And it's available. Thank you. Available it's on available. Artsy. Yes, it's available on artsy.net um, where you can see the entire show, which I encourage people to do. Um, and you can DM me if you're interested in purchasing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's a good point. I haven't mentioned that. None of us mentioned that. I'm interested in purchasing, please DM the yeah. artist um, or Splice Connector or anyone that you happen to know on this can get you connected to the right people, I'm sure. We're so, all connected, yes. Yeah, there it is. Thank you so much, Linda, for joining, and congratulations. The show is definitely a success, and I think it's worth celebrating. So cheers. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Absolutely. Cheers. Absolutely. Everybody, thank you so much for coming. I uh, I do encourage you to go check out the rest of the show. Uh, there's some really incredible works that have been included, um, beautifully curated by Karen Fitzgerald. Again, we are Spliced Connector. We are making art and supporting each other as artists and celebrating each other as artists and connecting to the world. And this is our Under the Skin exhibition um, on artsy.net by Shim Art Network. And you can join our mailing list through the link in my bio. You can DM me or Splice Connector or Karen Fitzgerald or anyone else for purchasing. Um, I mean, probably not anyone else, but y'all get my point. Uh, thank you all so much for coming today. I hope that you have a wonderful afternoon and 
I'm really pleased and psyched that we got to do this. And I look forward to talking with you all again the next time. And maybe I'll even have the theme song down by then. It's Life Connector, and we're doing an artist talk. La, 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 la. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Do, 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 do. We're going live. We're going live.